Hello, hello, hello. This is your boy Brandon Karaya, aka EF Hunt of Entertainment, and we are back with another video. And the video we got today is a trailer reaction, and it's a big one. Not just a big one, a gigantic one, an astronomical one. And the reason is not just because it's a DC property or a Marvel property or a superhero property. It is a DC property, but it's because I cannot even believe this movie even exists. With all the drama, with all the years that has gone by since this movie was originally announced and the trailer we got today is for the dceu's flash what what no 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 no, no, no. I, I have to be lying to myself because i I, I, I've been, as someone that actually loves the, especially, I know a lot of people love the DC characters. I didn't, I don't think the DCEU movies have been the worst. I don't think they've been executed to the best of their abilities, but I, I do think Man of Steel is one of the most underrated comic book movies of all time. I love Man of Steel, but I, I still enjoy the DCEU. So this Flash movie, I've been invested in this world, in this universe. So this Flash movie has been said to have been in the making and been coming out for a really, really long time. And I know a lot of people that that cover movies and do reviews and stuff on YouTube were honestly starting to think that this movie would never come out, especially when the Ezra Miller drama came out. So I'm just, that's, that's the biggest thing. Like I'm just, I don't even really know what else to say outside of the fact that I'm really shocked that this movie isn't getting pushed more, that we actually are getting footage. And like, I know I'm just long talking and I'm rambling on, but I, I'm just, it's been so long that we've had to wait for footage from this movie that I, I'm really just, shocked it exists I, I really am so so yeah honestly like i i feel like let's cut the long talking let's watch this flash trailer and 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 you know what i mean let's see if it's somehow not a fan edit no i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing so yeah honestly let, let's let, let's get let's get into this let's get into this because i don't know man tell me something you can go anywhere another timeline this is crazy another universe keaton so why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not going to lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds drawn to each other like magnets. My face. You stole my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy ben? everything. This can be happening. Hello, Ben. Okay, good to see you back, boy. You broke the universe. Sorry, we've been waiting for you. I created a world with no metahumans, and now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Oh, that, that, that. The music. The, oh, my. yo. You are? Yeah. I'm Batman. Hey, I, I can't honestly I can't even get over the fucking Zod thing. Michael Sh yo. Michael Shannon back is Zod. Did I not just say that Man of Steel is one of the most underrated comic book movies? I said that. So the fact that I'm seeing Zod, Michael Shannon, I love Michael I Shannon Zod. Love it. If I can't get back. There might not be a future. Supergirl. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I I'm Barry. Well, we're Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna want to see this. Yo, the super, the Supergirl suit looks tough. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, holy shit! 
I'm not, yo. Hmm. I don't know. I'm a little speechless right right now. I'm not gonna lie. Again, like I was saying, I'm 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 like one. I'm surprised that we're getting this footage because it's just been years in the making. So to see actually see footage from the movie in itself is just crazy. But now to actually break down the footage, holy shit, yo! There was so much. There was a lot of shit, especially closer to the the latter half of the trailer that had my jaw dropped. As soon as I saw him mention Zod and it lit like and Michael Shannon popped up on the screen, my jaw was dropped for the entire rest of the trailer because like I, I couldn't like I said, like I, I'm saying again, like I like I love Man of Steel and I love, love, love Michael Shannon's Zod. So like seeing him back really, really raised my excitement level for this movie, like through the roof and like if he's back and like i, I don't I, it could be you know how they edit trailers they edit different dialogues over different scenes but if they're making it like maybe he's the threat or he changed he changed something that there's no meta humans but there's still these big threats that could be very interesting and like i really like the look of supergirl it seems like because they are in a different universe there's no clark but there is kara so we obviously get our, our 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 introduction to Keaton back on screen. Big up Keaton. You know what I mean? One of the one of the best Batmans. The music behind him when he got introduced was great. But it was just honestly the visual effects looked really good. There was even a point in the beginning of the trailer where when Flash kind of first came into like he kind of just zoomed into a city and it just showed the gold electricity around his boots. That shot looked really good. But then near the end when the they started showing more of the action, there was two there was a shot where like two flash boots came together and they kicked off each other. There was just a lot of good, 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 good action sequences near the end. Like the action and the visual effects looks absolutely amazing. Like they they look, <laughs> sorry for my language, but they look fucking inc incredible. And like, honestly, like, I feel like, I feel like I'm overly amped. I, I, I honestly think I could have been toned down a couple notches and, and been, and would have been able to give this reaction to you a little tone, a little more toned down if I didn't see Michael Shannon in the trailer. And like, I would have been able to take the rest of it in, but it's like, as soon as I saw Michael Shannon and Zod come back, it's like the rest of the trailer to me was honestly near irrelevant. It's like, I had to like tell myself, yo, look at the rest of the trailer. There's other stuff in the trailer that they're showing. Stop just being hung up on Zod. But that's how much that moment really just got to me. Like, honestly, like I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And I know they may, they're probably recasting him and they're probably restarting the DCU. And this is probably going to be the start of the restart of the DCU, but I'm still going to be there. Like I said, I enjoy the DCU movie. So I want to see where this ends, where Aquaman ends and where, where this iteration and this storyline of the DCU ends. I'm still very interested in this trailer. Got me hyped 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 and i'm really excited i'm not gonna lie i'm really excited as you could tell but i'm super excited for for and it's not even because of the flash it's more for other characters i.e seeing keaton supergirl looked really good and my guy michael shannon so i think that is it for this trailer reaction you know what i mean like off a of first glance like again i could keep on talking keep on trying to say things and remember things but i honestly think i'm just gonna keep going back to michael shannon and i just keep saying the man's name at this point so I i'm gonna just i'm gonna just end it here that is it for this trailer reaction if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you think you'd be interested in trailer reactions, but not only that, episode reviews, movie reviews. I'm going to be seeing Ant-Man Quantumania next week, so I'll probably drop a review for that sometime next week. If you like long form podcasts, I got the Brandon Cry podcast with my two co-hosts, my two long, long good time friends, Corey and Damar. So if you're interested in that stuff, I got the Brandon Cry podcast here on the Brandon Cry Network. So subscribe here. You will not regret it. I appreciate you for watching. Catch you next time.